Look at the gorgeousness, the serenity of nature. OSG. It makes me happy. <laughs> How do you feel about the deep woods of East Texas? I feel like it has a piece of my heart. We're out here, fishing freaks. We're in the deep woods of East Texas. I'm gonna brighten your day up right here. Me and OSG are back. I'm back from the woods of the woods. Ha, the jungles of Brazil, the Amazon. Back to things making noises when you get in the car and dings on your phone and all that crazy stuff. I'm getting used to it again though. Hang in there with me. You got your seatbelt oh. off? It's you, <laughs> it's you, it's not even me. I'm sorry, I'm taken aback by all this nature's glory. Ah, uh, yes, we got OSG out of the concrete jungle and we're out here in the sticks of East Texas because we're over here at Sam Rayburn for the Whip Willis Tournament. That's right, baby. A bunch of great folks from my past and friends that I haven't yet met are all helping to put together a, uh, a fishing tournament to help raise money for our cause, our situation, and uh, also have a little fun, catch some bass here on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. But right now, we're over here a day early and we're going to meet up uh, with my buddy, Keith Combs. Mr. Keith, if you don't know Dr. Combs, he's a world famous bass angler. He's pretty darn salty at it. He apparently is on, he's on some, some fish out here and he said, grab your flipping stick, boy. Get on out here and do some work. And I was like, well, I got my wife with me. I'm not sure if she'd be, she'd be down to do a little grass flipping. He was like, she's gonna learn today. Oh gosh. She's gonna learn how to grass flip today. <laughs> So I think OSG is gonna get a little little lesson in uh, yeah. grass flipping today. Just we... hang in there, guys. <laughs> Be on. Hang in there. Woo! With it's gonna be a good video. <laughs> it's always a good video when you got new experiences on the line. But I'm just happy to be out here, back in the states, back in good old state of Texas, baby. You can smell these sweet pine trees. Already had me a nice buttered biscuit, and I got me a coffee. <laughs> it's a good morning to be alive, fishing freaks. Let's go meet Keith and get out on the water. Screens. Man, it's a lot nicer than yours. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta step it up, babe. That's the first thing she says. <laughs> this boat's a lot nicer than yours. <laughs> well, yeah. This is a lead series tournament pro boat. Mine's just a YouTuber boat. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit of a difference. Come <laughs> on, my person here. Is there anything in here? Uh, no, don't put it in there. Oh. He's got plenty of other storage, though. Look how wide it is. Lay out on the front deck of this bad boy. Pretty sexy. Keith is here, obviously. That's uh, he's sitting in his boat right now. <clears throat> We're gonna have a good day. I always have a good day with Keith. He's uh, not only a good, good human being. He's a really good fisherman as well. I think I meant to say that the other way around, but uh, <laughs> ah, I love the fresh smell. The fresh smells of the lake. Look how clear the water is. It's gorgeous. Dr. Coons! So y'all were gonna fish with Shane, but you got stuck with me instead. <laughs> oh, well, we didn't get stuck I, with you, we chose you. I'd much oh, rather right. fish with you, <laughs> Keith, out here. We're not uh, we're not doing deep structure today, I don't think. I only see a couple things rigged up on Keith Rods. We're gonna do a little grass flipping. A little East Texas style grass flipping. ET baby. Do some scrapes. What's we I've never done a scrape. Dum. Yesterday, two doubles. One of them was double on five pounders. You know, Jeff Rude. We gotta start over because we got. I wasn't ready. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're we're about to get learning lessons. All right. From the expert. Learning lessons from Are Keith. Are you ready? Combs. Ready. Keith, Go. explain. All right, so. We're on Rayburn. We're gonna go grass flipping today, and you can look and you can see the mats that we're gonna be flipping. See They're that? about 12 feet of water. So the most critical thing is to get your bait to the bottom. So you're gonna make a short pitch and just just let line out. Basically, let the jig free fall to the bottom. And then when it hits the bottom, just move it a couple times and then reel it in and pitch it again because it's just gonna be a reaction strike. So you just make a short pitch, and you're you're free spooling line, but you also are feeling for a bite because there may be a suspended fish. But what we'll do 
is we'll, we'll take and we'll mark the line right here, give you a little indicator because it's always going to stop. We're always going to be in 10 to 12 foot today. I've never done that. So, yeah. It's, what do you mark it with? We'll just get uh, a dye pan or a magic marker and uh, we'll color the line. So, it's going to be very repetitive. This is like all you do all day is just keep the boat moving on the outside edge of the grass, make that pitch. Now, this isn't this isn't like crappie fishing hook sets. This is full blown <laughs> rage. This is set the hook. hook. Sets. <laughs> yes. You're in control. You can you can boat flip a seven or eight pounder. It'd be awesome if you did. You should be a motivational speaker. You're in control. Use braid in your life. You have control. Boat flip a seven pounder. Take control of your life. You can do it. I like it. I'm gonna sit over here in the back. You got full room to uh, set the hook into Keith's face there, babe. I'm going to be fishing a, is this a one ounce jig? Yep. Which? Hack attack jig? This is a good jig right here. And using the old Rage Craw designed by Mr. Steve Parks himself. It's a, it's a rhythm that you get in and you just want to kind of angle, angle your toss about, um, three o'clock so that way by the time the boat moves ahead a little bit okay. they're down there yeah you already had one on we just uh, we were fumble fumbling around didn't get him oh oh my gosh yes so in that situation though you're actually flipping in open water I mean the top is open and then you're flipping down to submerged grass Honey? Yes. What do you think about grass flipping so far? Good. My wrist already hurts. Already? <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting started, man. We were doing our little practice, literally the first, the first flip in there. One takes off with it. Your they weren't ready. Still red? Chin is no longer red. Black and blue. No. Yeah, <laughs> might turn black and blue by the end of the day. I, I got excited. I set the hook and whacked her in the chin. I apologize. <laughs> But she almost had a fish on, right there on the first grass flip. You kidding me? He's down there deep. He hit it about two feet in. Come here, son. Oh, we got ourselves a mouth full of grass. Did you see that, honey? Did you see it looked like I had a 10 pounder? <laughs> but <laughs> turned out to be a two. First thought you just caught all that grass. I let him swim down in the grass just to add add effect, you know, make it look like it was huge. It was just like you said though, Keith, it was like probably two feet down he grabbed it. Mm -hmm. And then he started taking off into the depths of the grass. Oh, it's a beautiful sound, isn't it? Did you hear that violin? The grass violin. It's kind of like Christmas because you don't know what's going to be on the other end. What's the biggest bass you've ever hooked out of the grass? Um, 12 and a quarter. 12 and a quarter? Yeah. Gosh. And um, I remember a chart on your, your depth highlight range and your depth mm -hmm. highlights. Um, so if the outside edge of the grass is in 10 foot, you move that to 10, you know, plus or minus uh -huh. a couple feet. We're fishing in 13, so we, we highlight that. Now basically where the green is, the outside edge, it makes it a little easier to, to mm, fish. That's pretty nifty. See, we hit the outside edge, kind of getting mm -hmm. sparse right here, right where the green fades to white. Sometimes they get on the points, but uh, most of the time grass fish get in the drains because that's usually the thickest and the best canopy. Let's, let's check in with Stephanie back here. Let's get a little update. Yeah. How we doing? Well, we're going. We're just letting it sink all the way down to the bottom. Look at that. Just just crossed over Keith, like, get out of my hole. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I figured he, he puts it in where there might be some fish. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking right, man. You're thinking right. Gators back up. Get him, Keith. Yes. No. Man. Dad gummit. Get another one. Get him, Keith. Yes. There he is. Is there another one in there? There might be. I'm trying to I'm trying to dabble my cricket in the hole. 
good fish. Oh, tailless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reel it up and make another flip. Whoa. Another one? Get him, Keith. Yeah, baby. What? Yeah. What? There's a five pounder that came up with this one. Pitch right in there. Yeah, right there. Yes. yes! Doubled up! Pitching the hole, baby! There's a five pounder. <laughs> There's a five pounder that followed them. Get another one, Keith! We're scraping them! Babe, get your thing in there! That's a better fish. Yeah! Stephanie. Oh my gosh! <laughs> nice. Nice. Here, honey. Let's get you in the hole. Okay, let that sink to the bottom. You see how there was a bunch of them in that, that little unit together? There was a five, but I definitely oh, saw. Look what I got. <laughs> you got a bushel. <laughs> well, we almost had ourselves a scrape going right there. That was a mini scrape. It was a mini scrape. It was a mini Raven well, scrape. Got three. It was we got still three. cool though. That's good stuff. They were down there in that little hole, that little unit and Keith flipped in there, hooks one, then there's a five pounder chasing it, then I throw in there, catch a two pounder, he throws back, catches another one, well, that was probably three and a half. Probably. And uh, so there's, there's a nice little hole right here. I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost my, almost lost my rod and my dignity all at the same time. <laughs> that fish took me, for a ride, it slipped out of my hand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Never heard that violin. <laughs> I caught it, dude. It was like. <laughs> that was the same thing Jeff did yesterday. He sets it with one hand and loses it. And well, you never have done this pattern. No. This is, I would say, the hardest thing in bass fishing to do. What would you say? Punching grass? What do you think is the hardest thing? The combination of physical and skill-wise. Uh, yeah, this is pretty physical fishing. Oh. Get in there, babe. Yeah. Flip it. Nice one there, Keith. That's a good, healthy grass bass. Is that sunfish? Here, you can fish this one. OSG on the bird nest. <laughs> hey, that's my first one today. Oh, when your wife bird nests, you're real. What do you say? You say, thanks for coming fishing with me, sweetheart. I'm glad you're here. We could be shopping right now. Where's Bill Dance when you need him? Show me the tricks, Bill. Oh. Fun size. Jig in the face. Oh, off the backboard. Dang. Gotta love that sound. The sound of music. When you have these patches, do you go more into the holes or do you go into the, 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 uh, the thick stuff? If you fell in, we'd never see you again. It'd grab you like a jungle, like Jumanji. Moves. I think we got what? One more hole? We got one or two more holes yeah. we're gonna hit. Cut across the lake. This giant things lake. have changed. Had a little change in uh, patterns. That's how it is. Same pattern, different area. Something's different though. But yesterday was a lot easier to get bit. But I kind of struck that. Well, we've seen bald eagles, gators, largemouth bass. It's good old Dale, Sam Raber. Is that from the boat ride? Oh man. That's what you get for backlashing my reel. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh no. Gosh. Hit it halfway down. That was that was a better bite. Oh no. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, came off, 
Keith. Dude. I didn't keep pressure on him. He was come. He didn't feel that big. He was kind of coming with me. You know what I'm saying? Get him! Yes, babe! Oh. Get him! 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 Real, real, real! Oh no, you don't have it! Oh Damn. no! <laughs> I thought you had. You did have him for a second. I thought you got bamboozled like I did here. Oh my gosh! I thought that was gonna be the most epic ending ever. Like, I miss the fish, my wife catches it. You set the hook fine, you just gotta keep wrenching on them. Get in there, Steph. It's a big fish. Come on, get in there, Steph. Flip in there. This is where we missed them earlier. I'm sorry, my hook came out. Get in there. We all had one on, but the pro landed it. The pro landed his. I got him, man. I thought that was gonna be our six pounder for the day. Is your wrist tired? My <laughs> Your wrist is all floppy. <laughs> it needs some stretch. You almost had one. I almost had one. We both had one. had one on and Keith Keith landed his because he's a pro. That was fun. We'll be better prepared next time. That's right. It's hard grass flipping fishing freaks if you've never done it. It's a it's a pretty awesome way to fish. It's almost like Christmas. You get a little surprise underneath. You don't know what you're gonna get. You might get a two-pounder, you might get an eight-pounder. But you're definitely gonna work hard, that's for sure. Keith, thank you for taking us out, brother. Anytime, I had a, had a good time. Anytime I come to Rayburn, I'll do it. Home, home waters. And Keith's, Keith's actually, he's like a little disappointed. We only caught, the biggest fish was like four. I consider that good, but that's why he's a pro. Go follow Keith Combs. He's linked down below. You can go check out his recent win on Millie Lack, smashing them small mouth. That's right, fishing freaks. He can not only catch large mouth, catches big smallies too. Congratulations, my friend. Alrighty, fishing freaks, I hope you enjoyed this tasty episode of flipping and ripping with our buddy Keith Combs and OSG learning a new technique and tactic, and I actually learned a lot of things myself, so hit the like button for that. And next, we're gonna do some crappie fishing on that same lake, one of the best lakes in the country, Lake Sam Rayburn, so hit the subscribe button, keep it locked right here, and I'll see you on the next episode.